train riders had to wait around for hours just to pile on buses to get where they needed to go. Things are back to normal tonight, but for commuters, this was another reminder of all of the problems Metro North has had lately. News 8's Stephanie Simone live at Union Station in New Haven tonight with a look at all that frustration. Steph? Darren, Aaron, here at Union Station, trains are running back to schedule, most of them anyways. After today in Norwalk, Governor Malloy is taking action, and commuters are once again fed up. Commuter chaos. I am angry. Are we going to be reimbursed? A parade of people crisscrossed Norwalk, hundreds on foot, some too rushed to stop and talk. We just walked because the train was crazy. And are commuters annoyed? I heard some people yelling. Uh, yeah, of course they are. This is terrible. Metro North is a terrible company. They just don't, haven't maintained anything, and it's always a nightmare. For those who could not walk or didn't want to, buses took them the one and a half miles to the next station. One man had a different plan. Oh, sun, exercise done. Dan Devental rolled in from Rowayton. I think it's a, it's really terrible. I, I really went out of my way to change my habits to get my car off of the out of the traffic jam. This is the second time this has happened in eight days. Metro North says this 118-year-old walk bridge is to blame when it got stuck open, closing down traffic, flaring tempers, and adding hours to commutes. Why open the bridge during the day? You know we're commuting during the day. Open the bridge during the nighttime. Amtrak riders suffered through it too. I thought I was going to save some time by uh, taking the train instead of the plane, but uh, guess what? We got. Uh, we got stuck just short of Norwalk. Then he says Amtrak brought their train back to New Haven just to put them on another train that got stuck again in Norwalk. It's supposed to be in about four o'clock. It's six o'clock now. It's six o'clock now. And I have a dinner date in about half an hour in New York. I don't think I'm gonna make that. What if this happened a third time? Whew, I might have to pull my hair out. A lot of frustrated people there. Are many people asking today, will they be reimbursed? We asked Metro North that question a few hours ago. They said they are not planning on reimbursing people. But today, Governor Malloy also issued a statement calling for a crisis summit with the state, the MTA, and Metro North to try and do something about this. He called today outrageous, especially because it was twice in eight days. We will stay on top of the story and bring you the very latest. For now, we are live in New Haven tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8. Steph, thank you very much. A lot of people took to social media tonight to voice their frustrations with Metro North. Here's a look at what some of you had to say. Ed writes, quote, if they can't close the bridge, they shouldn't open it. What's more important, one boat or thousands of commuters? And a lot of people seem to agree with him. That post got nine likes. Evelyn writes, we seem to fix things that don't need fixing and put band-aids on the rest. And Bethany says, forget waiting with hundreds of others for a bus. She wrote, taking a taxi from the Stanford station, and she wasn't the only one. Metro Taxi tells us they had an uptick in calls tonight because of all the problems on the rails.